RuneLight is the greatest thing to happen to old school RuneScape in my opinion. Today I wanted to share a few of my favorite plugins that I believe would benefit Ironman. However, all of the plugins are awesome and would help any account type. The first one I'd like to talk about is called Wasted Bank Space. This plugin provides an interface which shows items that are wasting your bank space. It also shows you where you can store them in order to save some room. This plugin has been a lifesaver on my new Ironman account because bank space is one of the hardest things about playing in iron. So being able to save as much space as possible is crucial. This plugin will put an icon on banked items. This icon will tell you where you can store that item in order to save room. A few examples of this could be fishing gear in your tackle box from Temporos or costumes that can be stored in your POH. This plugin is very in-depth and it is totally worth checking out in order to save some bank space. The next plugin I'll talk about is called Emote Clue Items. For each tier of clue scroll, there are usually steps that will require you to perform an emote with certain items equipped. These items are usually pretty junk, and this causes a lot of stress while playing an Iron Man because you never know which items you may want to keep for the future. This plugin will notify you of which items are used in clue scrolls. The plugin marks each item with the color that correlates to the clue scroll tier. This plugin is super helpful when clearing out bank space because you know which items to keep and which to get rid of. You can also use the side panel of RuneLight to keep track of all of the different items that are used in clue scrolls, as well as which ones you already have, as well as where all the stash units are located. While staying on the bank trend of plugins, the next one is super useful for Ironman, and it is called Banked XP. This plugin is super simple in theory, it will just tell you how much potential XP you currently have banked for a skill. For example, if I wanted to see what cooking level I could get to with whatever raw fish I had in my bank, I could open the calculator and select the cooking skill. Doing this will show you how much XP you have banked, and you can also sort it by the certain fish that you have, and it will show you how much experience that fish will give you. Always take the amount of banked XP with a grain of salt because the plugin will assume that you're cooking every piece of food, for example. But overall, it's still a great plugin when you're trying to chase a skill requirement. The next plugin is called Inventory Setups. This plugin allows you to save gear setups for specific activities in game. This can apply to your bossing setups or even farm runs. To add a setup, just open the tab on the sidebar of Runelight, then press the plus button and name your setup. Afterwards, you'll always be able to view that gear setup in RuneLight. Within your new inventory setup, you can adjust your gear and inventory within the plugin to fix any errors or update with new gear. Additionally, the notes section at the bottom of each setup is great for reminding yourself how to kill a certain boss or what order to do a farm run in. The fifth RuneLight plugin I'll talk about is called Weapon Charges. This one is super simple, and it just overlays the amount of charges you have left on chargeable weapons. It's very simple, but it can be super useful. I can't count the number of times I've ran out of charges on my Ibin staff when going to do a Barrows run because I forgot to check how much I had left. With this plugin, you won't forget again. Now that you have your weapon charges turned on, if you're a low level iron like me, your next stop might be Barrows. A clan member from Ironclad CC recommended that I turn on Barrows Doors highlights. This will highlight all the open doors once you enter the tunnels. At first, this may seem a little overboard considering it's not hard to find the correct path yourself, but after hundreds of Barrows runs, this makes it considerably easier when grinding out Barrows pieces. It makes getting to the chest a lot faster and cleaner. As an Iron Man, Slayer points are crucial for a multitude of account upgrades. The next plugin makes point boosting very easy. The plugin is called Turiel Skipping. For those who don't know, Turiel Skipping is when you do 9 tasks at Turiel due to the quick and easy nature of his task list, then doing your 10th task at the best Slayer Master you can. This will optimize your ability to collect points as fast as possible. With the Turiel Skipping plugin, the plugin will tell you the best place to fight the monsters assigned as well as place a marker on the map which shows you where to kill that monster. This plugin helps a ton, so you don't have to constantly look up the best spots for each low level monster. So when you're ready to do your 10th Slayer task after Turiel skipping, the next plugin is called Slayer Assistant. This plugin has a list of all the Slayer monsters in the game, as well as where to find them, what gear you might need to kill them, their combat styles and attributes, what Slayer Master assigns them, 
as well as their links to wiki pages. This is a perfect plugin to save time when gearing for an assignment or figuring out the best route to your Slayer monster. While on the topic of Slayer, it is always fun to look up monster drops while doing Slayer. The plugin is called Loot Lookup, and it will do exactly that, but without having to leave Runelight and go to the wiki in your browser. In this plugin, you can search any monster and it will show you all of its drops and their respective drop rates. The plugin also gives you a right click option on any attackable NPC to quickly search up their drops. As an Iron Man, going into the wilderness for any amount of time can be terrifying. PKers have been known to kill anyone, even if they only have a spade in their inventory. So the last two plugins I believe are useful when playing your Iron Man are the Protect Item Notifier and Large Logout Button. The Protect Item Notifier will overlay the Protect Item Prayer on your screen when you enter PvP without it turned on. This will give you a reminder to turn on your prayer if you happen to forget. This plugin has the potential to save you a lot of time and GP in the long run. And the second plugin, Large Logout Button, is exactly what it sounds like. It makes your logout button huge. This can be super helpful for those who hover the logout button whenever they enter the wilderness. With this plugin enabled, you'll never miss the logout button again. I hope you enjoyed the plugins mentioned in this video, and I hope that they can be of use to you and your account sometime in the future. If you have any additional plugins that could be useful for an Iron Man, leave them in the comments for others to see. But anyways, I appreciate you, and see ya.